This is going to be a vlog dedicated to me reading a YA fantasy series that has been out for a while, but I have yet to read myself. And if you clicked on this video, you probably know what it is because it's going to be in the title, but that is the Caraval trilogy and maybe also the other two books as well. So I have literally owned these books for years. Um, Caraval legendary and finale and this is even the bnn exclusive edition which has this cool dust jacket and then i also own once upon a broken heart and this is like the pre-order dust jacket and then this is the bnn exclusive edition and then we have the ballad of never after again pre-order dust jacket and the regular cover is underneath that's what the cover looks like. Um, and let me show you for the first one. This is the regular cover underneath. Last but not least, I have the Ballad Never After BNN Exclusive Edition. So I have all of these books by this author and have been collecting them, but have not read any of them. So clearly I needed to actually decide to read them because I have owned them for so long. So this is going to be a vlog where I binge the series. I'm so excited. I love reading series kind of like in their entirety like this i just think it's so fun um, so i will definitely be reading these three books and then maybe the other two in the companion series but yes this is the carval series so i'm currently on page 57 it's like actually like the text is pretty big and i feel like it's pretty spaced out so it's a pretty quick read right now just like the the stage has been set we follow scarlet and tella dragna and they basically live on this island and their father is this governor but he's also like really cruel and so Scarlett has an arranged marriage and she's hoping that will like help their fortunes but um, she's been writing to the I guess like leader of the Carval which is like this magic festival every year for like seven years to like invite her and her sister to go and finally like right before she's about to get married like she gets invited to this festival and now they have kind of just gone to this festival and according to the summary, um, Tella is actually kidnapped by the like the mastermind behind the Carval and like the game is trying to win her back. So obviously Scarlet will do anything for her sister and so it's their story and I feel like it's set up really well in the first 50 pages. Um, here uh i have some tabs already that just have like examples of very beautiful prose i feel like stephanie garber has a good writing style where it's simple enough that it flows very easily but yet has moments of flowery description that's beautiful and i mean like the marketing and everything for this series is so good because who doesn't love a magical carnival and romance and mystery and intrigue and i feel like it's just like absolutely everything that i want right now and uh, like so many people love the series love Stephanie Garber and so I'm excited to maybe be one of those people and I mean like I I know myself I like most things so I feel like I'm going to love it so yeah I mean I've literally owned this for so so long and it's finally time for me to read it that is where I am starting out and give you my thoughts as I go along the entirety of the series and come and join me on my journey Okay, so going to do a check-in on Caravelle. I forgot to mention last time, but this is actually a buddy read with Keely. So we are buddy reading the entire series together. So Keely has gotten up to day two of Caravelle. So if you haven't read this series, it's like broken up into the days of the game like this. So I just got to the beginning of night two. So the game only takes place at night. And so far, I'm really liking it. It really reminds me of Alice in Wonderland with kind of like the way that things are very like nonsense. Like the the time is like changed. Like it goes faster there and like things will like move from where they once were. And it's like described in like this very like fantastical carnival type way. Like the carnival makes sense. And basically the we got to the, the mystery, which is like that carnival master legend has taken Donatella, Scarlet's sister, and she is trying to get her back. Uh, at first, I couldn't really tell like who the love interest was going to be, but now I think I like have an idea. Um, but we have Julian, who is like this unreliable kind of guy that's helping Scarlet out, and like there's definitely some tension between them. But he 
is definitely like unreliable and will like disappear for some moments of time and then like come back and we don't know like what he was doing while he was gone and so there's like a mystery definitely new unravel with him and we also met this guy briefly dante and i've heard his name around like in the fandom so i think he's going to be important as well but yeah and i think like really at the root of this book is the sisterly relationship between scarlet and tella because their father is abusive that scarlet has to kind of take on this like protector role for tella and tella um since she's younger has like this more rebellious nature and it's being like highlighted in what is happening to these two um but clearly like they're very closely bonded and so i think that this is you know testing their sisterly relationship but yeah i feel like it's written pretty like it has like a very succinct writing style but also is flowery at certain points when it needs to be and i like there's a lot of um color metaphors i find so there are a lot of like really pretty writing with color metaphors so i have been enjoying my time reading this so far and i'm currently on page 177 and i'm gonna try and get to page 217 which is the start of night four but now i'm like i'm actually like really getting into it and really enjoying the mystery so maybe we'll see how far i get tonight but um at least to this 217 page mark which is the start of night four and then kind of puts me like right at the, the halfway point so stay tuned my camera is about to die but i do just want to say that i finished caraval and i loved it i think the ending got really intense and i got really into it at the end i have all my annotations here and it was so so fun i love the world and i love that there is still mystery and intrigue to be coming in the next volume so i will be continuing the series i do have an audiobook going at the same time that i want to talk about which is merry a merry little meet cute by julie murphy and sierra simone and don't let the cartoon cover fool you it is very spicy um and there's something like kind of really fun about listening to spicy books on audio um so that's what i've been doing so it's late i'm probably gonna go to bed and like play games on my phone while i listen to my audiobook and i'm trying to talk really fast because my camera's about to die so i'm gonna let it charge before i go to sleep but yay i finished caraval and it was amazing okay so it's been a few days since i finished caraval here we are and i am ready to give you my fully sought out thoughts um i haven't started legendary yet i did take a break to read set on you by amy leah because that's just like a very body positive rom-com and i was just like having a moment where mentally i needed that but i'm ready and back to read the next two books so i'm kind of like in between a four and a five stars for this one i feel like it set up the world very well and i'm very intrigued by the mystery of carvel i feel like it answered enough questions while also leaving us still wondering like what is going to happen next and what's going on and i do know that legendary is focusing on donatella so we are kind of set up to now follow like the other sisters story so um i like scarlet i feel like there were some points where i didn't necessarily agree with the way that she was handling things but i understood her motivations you know she really tried to like protect and shelter her sister and as an older sister i feel like i could relate to that do i agree with the way that she handled everything like 100 percent? no but it definitely like kind of shows like how you get like swept up in the game and like all of the um the world building i thought was just like so unique and cool to have like this this game and the way that everyone gets like really into it and then you kind of see like the perspective of other people who aren't as like personally invested in the game and it was it was very intriguing and interesting and i liked the twist at the end for certain because you like think that things are going down and then you read and you're like oh oh my god it's like completely different than what i thought it was going to be so i have a feeling that this first book is setting it up pretty good and then it's just going to continue and build and build as we get to the next ones so now i'm starting legendary and i do believe in this one I, like i said we're following tella and we go to another caraval so i'm very excited to start this and i want to read this one and finale probably before i travel for thanksgiving i don't know if that's actually gonna happen but we shall see we shall see so I will start this one tonight and let you guys know my thoughts. So I read the first 110 pages of Legendary and I'm loving it so far. I definitely think I am drawn into the story faster than I was with Caravelle. And I'm just really, really loving this world. Like the magical carnival, but the twisted games and you don't know like what is happening. And it's just so beautifully built. Also, this second book is from Donatella or she goes by Tella's perspective. And... 
you know, it's interesting to kind of see her perspective on the events that happen in book one and now it's switching to her perspective and you're able to see how Stephanie Garber is able to characterize the two sisters very differently and in the fact that they're two PUV POVs have distinct voices so I think that that is going really well and I just feel like the intrigue is like just really increased in the second book and we also see a mention of the Prince of Hearts which everyone knows is what the follow-up series or connected series Once Upon a Broken Heart is about so I'm interested to see how his character is going to play into things there's also the use of like tarot they're not called tarot cards but like tarot-like cards and those are always like a good foreshadowing device that authors use look at me talking like i'm writing an essay in school but yeah but that's definitely like foreshadowing to some things that i can just tell that anything that i thought will get completely turned on its head and i probably won't be able to guess right because didn't really guess right for caravel either like something no didn't didn't really guess anything that was going on so let the games begin. Or oh, the cutest. Okay, good night. Hey, hello. Hi. I'm looking a little rough right now, but it's fine. We're gonna be real here, right? Okay, so I'm in the middle of filming my bookshelf tour. I already filmed my intro and outro on a separate day um, so that I could just really focus on being behind the camera and talking about the books, but filming bookshelf tours are hard like my legs are a little shaky from like all the maneuvering i had to do to do the top shelf so now i'm taking a lunch break and we'll come back to it but it's like a full day project almost when you have as many shelves as i do but that's why i'm not giving myself a deadline on this and i'm just doing it as i can hopefully i can get all the filming done today and then can edit it at another time because i have a few videos ahead of that in the queue anyways but i did want to come and give an update on legendary so i just got to page 149 so it's in the middle of night one of caravel the second caravel i guess um and we just met Jax, and he is a character that is in once upon a broken heart and i'm so intrigued by his character like he's a little bit of a of a play uh, not like a playboy but like he's a little villainy you know like he's a little bit of a villain so I feel like I'm gonna end up loving him because everyone loves the follow-up series and I'm just like definitely more drawn into this book like a lot faster than the first book um probably just because we already have the world built and set up and we can dive right into it and I'm enjoying Tella's perspective and to see just like how much these sisters care about each other but how about how they go about it in different ways because like one is the older more responsible one and one's like the younger more impulsive kind of one and I feel like the characters are set up really well I also feel like I kind of know who the love interest is going to be even though in the first book and in this book there seems to be almost like two not like a love triangle but like two competing interests before it's finalized like which one the girl is actually interested in so very intrigued to continue on i'm gonna continue reading while i eat lunch and then i'm gonna go back to filming my bookshelf tour hello checking in again it's later the same day as the last clip but nighttime now and i'm gonna try and finish legendary before i go to bed tonight because in the morning i'm waking up and traveling for thanksgiving so i won't be able to do a reading vlog at all um it's just hard to do it like when i'm traveling so i'll be reading finale when i come back but that means i need to finish legendary tonight and at this point i'm just like fully in love with the series so i'm at the plot twist where not the plot twist but i'm at the point where it's supposed to be night four of carval um and we are uncovering some things about the plot and there's some really interesting twists and turns and now we have the involvement of the fates which weren't involved in the first book i'd have to go back and look and see if they were like really even hinted at i'm sure that they were i got this beautiful asmr room on it's perfect like there is a lot going on between dante and julian and scarlet and tella and you know i don't know what to believe and like the whole thing with caraval is that it's a game and there are actors in the game so you don't know really like what feelings are real and what is being acted out and it's so interesting to try and like piece that apart and figure out what is real and what isn't real and in the book like they were doing like a fortune telling and there was like they were saying it's the beginning the middle the almost ending and then the true ending so i feel like that's going to be kind of the structure of this book where we going we're going to get to something where we think it's the end and then it turns out it isn't and that's kind of how the structure of caravel was so i'm interested to see how it is all going to play out and i think it's going to lead us to make certain conclusions and then flip them on their head at the end so i'm making some tea enjoying my night and trying to get to the end of this bad boy 
Um, but I, yeah, I'm absolutely in love with the series now. So I'm so excited that I did this reading vlog and that I get to read them like relatively close to one another. Okay, I just finished and I'm really tired and I really, really need to, need to go to bed. But I just need to say that this book is extraordinary. It definitely really leveled up the game and the plots and the scheming and the heartbreak. And it was just so good. Definitely some unexpected twists. Um, and I cannot wait to read the last book. I'm kind of sad that I can't read it until I get back from vacation, but oh my god, so good. I I totally understand why people are obsessed with the series, oh, because I am too. It is post Thanksgiving and I just wanted to check in to say that I'm finally starting finale. I meant to start the last two days and I've just been so exhausted from traveling. I don't know about you guys, but I get so tired when I travel and then I go straight back to work and I don't have any time to rest. So Thanksgiving was super fun. Also went to the 18th concert with Maddie, but Legendary just ended on such a bang that I cannot wait to get to this book. People say it's like the best one in the series and I absolutely cannot wait and to take you guys along for the finale of the series. So I have now read the first 100 pages of finale and it is insane. The first book follows Scarlet mostly and the second book follows Tella and this one has both of their perspectives and so it's interesting to see how both of their stories are going. And it's going wildly and oh, i say this without spoiling but there is a character in the second book that i didn't think would be a secondary love interest and i thought it, it was like a little bit hinted at and i didn't think that was gonna happen in this book and he's becoming more of a love interest now so interested to see where these stories go there's a lot like with the lore and the myth and even though there is no longer like a Carval game in this final book, like there just like are mind games and like twists and turns that are happening and then kind of like a more layered story that was introduced in the second book is the fates and they're basically like the gods of this world and like their stories were like weaving more mythology and it's so interesting and I just like want to sit here and read it all night and figure out what the heck is going to happen. So we'll see if I can at least maybe get to the halfway point. How many pages are in this book? 487, so about 500 pages. So we'll see if I get to like the 250 mark. Finale update, I'm about to, I'm up to about page 300. I mean, I am just so obsessed with this series and I mean, just the twists and turns are taking me out. We're learning so much more information and some things I didn't see coming and just like done very well and like the message about like love and like the things that we sacrifice for love and like you know like trying unrequited love almost i'm really intrigued by jack's character and i'm so excited knowing that he gets his own book series after and i'm definitely gonna have to dive right into that because i'm gonna want to know what happens to his character but it's just like sad because i think they're i don't know if the once upon a broken heart is going to be like a trilogy or whatever but um i do know that the third book was announced so it's kind of sad that i can't read like every single book all in a row but like i need to know what happens to Jax because I really like him even though he's like kind of definitely morally gray but I mean just like what these characters are going through and what they kind of have to do in order to save the world has kind of definitely expanded it in scope a lot from the first book and I'm like just really really getting into this final volume so I'm so excited and I have I'm about like 60% of the way through so maybe the next time I'll update you I'll be done but like wow just I'm in love with the series and i'm so glad that i decided to document my time first time reading it with a vlog i love doing these series specific vlogs let me know down below if there's like any other series that you think i should do a vlog for i have like a zodiac academy uh vlog what else have i done um a from blood and ash vlog like i i like doing uh series specific vlogs i think that they're so fun so let me know in the comments i have finished finale and wow this series finale it really wowed me um i just feel like the series got so much more expansive from where it was when we started and i just came to really love and enjoy these characters and i really love Jax, and i'm so excited for his books to see what's going to happen with his story but i am just really impressed because i feel like let me get all the books here we have all of them I feel like Carval is a really good intro to the world, but definitely was the weakest book in the series. Um, I didn't like, I wasn't as fully invested as I was in these two. And I think that, you know, the setting and the world building and the atmosphere was really, really great. And then in these two books, 
the uh, Stephanie Garber was able to make us care about the characters a little bit more and like had stronger characterization and plot lines and so I really came to love all of our characters and all of you know the little games that they would play with each other and overall this is just such like a beautiful wonderful whimsical series if you were looking for a series that feels like you're reading a fairy tale or like you're at this like dream carnival definitely pick up caravel because that is totally the vibe of this series and it is going to definitely go down as one of my new all-time favorite ya series i love it so much so thank you guys so much for watching i really had such a fun time vlogging caravel and look out for my next vlog will be me reading Jax's series so i'm very excited about that uh let me know what you think of the caraball trilogy down below and have some fun read some books and i'll catch you guys in the next one